So we just introduced our EFR32 MG22 devices, which are based on our award-winning BG22 uh, platform, which is part of our overall Series 2 radio architecture. These devices are optimized for low-power Zigbee and Bluetooth mesh networks where they'd be operating off a battery or an energy harvesting device. And with our ultra-low power consumption, we believe we can get five to ten years of battery life in many typical applications, making them ideal for battery-powered home automation or industrial-type use cases. So what's interesting about MG22 is it delivers the smallest, most power-optimized solution for uh, Zigbee Green Power and other ultra-low power applications. The uh, optimizations that we've done for the Zigbee Green Power standard allows us to achieve uh, extremely long life uh, for battery-powered applications and even enable energy harvesting type applications that can operate without the use of any batteries. So, MG22 can, uh, consists of a high-performance ARM core running at 76 megahertz. But even though it's a high-performance core, we've optimized it for ultra-low power uh, to continue that theme of long battery life. So our MG22 only consumes 8.2 milliamps when transmitting at an output power of 6 dBm. And for even more power-critical applications, 3.4 milliamps at 0 dBm. In addition, we only require less than 4 milliamps when we're operating in a receive mode. And when deep sleep and standby current is, is a critical requirement, we only consume 1.4 microamps. So this provides for exceptional energy efficiency. So with MG22, we, offer, we also offer very uh, high performance RF options, including the ability to transmit at up to plus 6 dBm of output power and extremely sensitive received performance. One of the other interesting um, features we have on MG22 is, is some enhanced security. So this includes uh, numerous features such as a true random number generator that's NIST compliant. We have the ability to boot from a known good image with a root of trust. And we also can lock down the debug ports so that bad actors can't inject malicious code in the customer's products. Uh, when we start talking about security, really the foundation, the basis of it is knowing that you're operating with known good firmware. So we have a root of trust which ensures that the code that's being used to boot the part is genuine and verified. This ensures that when customers push firmware updates that the code that's being run can be verified as being signed from a known developer and is, is truly a, a valid, reliable image. Root of Trust is very useful for uh, other use cases as well, including verifying the code that came over an over-the-air update is genuine and will ensure that uh, a debug port can't be used to inject malicious code into the device to, for example, hack a hack an IoT endnode. One of the challenges that IoT developers will face is they need to have a mechanism to insert code into parts when they're in the development phase, but then lock down that port when they ship products so that bad actors can't inject malicious code. This is very useful for preventing this malicious code injection, but creates problems later on if, for example, a device fails in the field and you want to do a failure analysis on the device. Previously, we wouldn't have had a mechanism to unlock that port to understand what was happening inside the code. With our secure debug, we can lock and unlock these ports to uh, allow the customer to share with us, for example, uh, a, a known key, which uh, they'll give us when they return a part for a failure analysis. We can use that key to unlock the port and then analyze what's going on inside the chip to see if we can get a better indication of what's causing the part to fail. If you can only lock the port and not unlock it later in a secure way, your ability to, to do failure analysis is severely limited. So the MG22 with its, its low power and uh, extremely low sleep currents and efficient RF performance is really optimized for battery-powered applications in a whole wide variety of, of uh, segments. Anything from battery-powered wall switches, let's say in home automation, to uh, air quality or light sensors used in building automation, uh, to um, say door and window sensors that would be used for a security system. 
the ultra low power optimizations that we've implemented along with the ultra efficient RF um, radio performance really enables these types of applications. Zigbee Green Power was really designed to uh, enable ultra low power battery applications or even energy harvesting applications. So in many situations you will want to retrofit let's say an existing building with smarter lighting control or sensors and you don't want to have to wire them. So if you're doing a retrofit on these sensors they'll often be battery powered. The advantage of battery power is it makes the installation significantly simpler than if you had to run power and wires to, to each of these devices. Zigbee Green Power ensures that if you have a battery powered application you can get the longest possible life out of that battery or if you're building an energy harvesting application, the uh, active power consumption is low enough that you can power it from these, uh, these very small uh, energy sources. So Silicon Labs Zigbee offering, uh, we've, we've been investing in Zigbee for an for a extended period of time. We have over 10 years of experience in the market. One of the things that brings to our customers is we have very stable and mature high performance software stacks they can use to get their products off the ground quicker, um, developed and, and uh, released into the market. In addition to that, we've talked a lot about the energy benefits that our MG22 brings to the table. So customers can build ultra low power devices that are running off of batteries, which will have extremely long battery life. And finally, the high performance RF that we've enabled with these devices ensures that they'll be able to communicate uh, robustly in even really challenging environments. So we announced the MG22 on February 19th and uh, general availability for customers who want to get samples or evaluation kits is for the end of March. So if customers want to learn more about MG22, they can visit our website at scilabs.com slash MG22.